Good morning, everyone. It's Greg Wood here from the Video Studio team at Corel, and I want to welcome you to our newest webinar on Video Studio Pro X3. Today we'll be looking at Video Studio Pro and giving something of an introduction or a refresher if you're already familiar with Video Studio on how to quickly create great looking movies within Video Studio. And I'm really happy to have with me today the product manager for Video Studio, Jan Piros. Jan is based out in Mountain View, California, and uh, he's got up bright and early this morning out in Mountain View where it's about 7 a.m. to demonstrate the product for us. How are you doing today, Jan? I am good. Thank you very much. That's good. I'm uh, Greg Wood again. I'm the product marketing manager for uh, Video Studio, and I'm based in Ottawa, Canada. So we have a very global affair today as we're speaking to an audience entirely from the UK. Um, I remember when I started with Corelbo 10 years ago, I actually started out um, working with uh, the press in the UK. I was on Corel's PR team, so I have fond rem uh, remembrances of good times in the UK, where the weather today, of course, in our Maidenhead office is around 10 degrees Celsius, which compares uh, favorably to the minus three that we have here in already wintry Ottawa. We don't have too much snow on the ground, but we've got uh, certainly cooler weather. And uh, it's certainly decidedly nicer where you are, Jan. Isn't that correct? It is. It is. Thank you. It is warmer. It is warmer. So what we're going to do today is uh, show you how to create movies quite quickly within Video Studio. And before I turn things over to Jan to do just that, um, what I want to do is introduce to you some of the uh, elements of this webinar and tell you how you can get interactive with us online here. So if you've successfully logged in to the webinar, you'll see that there's a, uh, a go to webinar nav on the right hand side of your screen. Uh, you should be seeing the uh, webinar window that takes up most of your screen, it, which is currently showing the Video Studio interface. Um, but on that tab on the right hand side, you'll see a number of options. And what I'm going to ask you to do is just look for the questions tab that you'll find down near the bottom of that uh, navigation bar. That questions tab is the way that we'd, we'd like you to interact with us during the webinar. Um, I'm going to be having an eye on that, uh, that part of the screen while uh, Jan is walking us through the product. And uh, if you want to answer, ask any questions or get uh, Jan to show you anything during the course of the webinar, just uh, go and post in there. And uh, we'll, I will raise a flag for Jan to take a look at that. And, He'll answer your questions. Now, we are going to have a, a question and answer period towards the end of this webinar. We have about 45 minutes worth of presentation and about 15 minutes of questions. And uh, we'll be really happy to answer your questions during that time. If there's anything that's relevant to the, uh, to the subject that Yan is presenting on, uh, on screen, I'll try and also get those in front of him so we can answer those during the middle of the webinar. So please, don't hesitate to answer, uh, ask any questions that you find within the, uh, uh, that, you, that you have. And I'll also point out that any questions that we don't get to today or uh, which require maybe a little more research on our part, uh, we'll be posting those on our Facebook page. Um, so uh, check us out on, uh, on facebook.com slash Corel and, uh, and we'll get answer questions uh, answered there. Uh, so Jan, with that, why don't we turn <coughs> things over to you and you can, you can give us a look about how to quickly edit movies in Video Studio. Okay, thanks, Greg. Uh, one thing I wanted just to uh, note uh, in, in your message area, if you're uh, having problems listening to the audio, if you have audio issues or any kind of viewing issues, please post in there, and uh, uh, hopefully Greg and I can uh, make sure that everything goes smoothly. In any case, as Greg had mentioned, I work in the Video Studio team. Uh, Video Studio has been around for a number of years through a number of diter uh, different iterations. Uh, it originally came from a company called ULead in uh, Taiwan and uh, Yuli then was eventually bought by Corel and now Corel has uh, has the uh, Video Studio uh, products. Uh, one of the advantages for the user is that Corel has a number of media products that are very useful in video production, be they Corel Draw or Corel Draw Essentials or Painter or PaintShop Pro. So there's a number of uh, tools within a Corel uh, toolbox that allow you to do some pretty neat uh, video editing. As uh, Greg had mentioned, we're going to use this webinar to sort of give you an overview of uh, Video Studio X3 and then do some, show you some tools that allow you to do uh, productions uh, relatively easily and relatively quickly. So let me just take a, a first look here at the interface. For those of you who are not familiar with the interface, 
Uh, keep in mind, too, that you can download a try-before-you-buy type of uh, product from our website as well. So if you want to try it out before uh, you, you decide on uh, purchasing it, um, you can do that. So in the interface itself, up on the top left here, we've got the preview panel. This is the, the, the panel where you'll be previewing your video and all your, all your content in this area, be they photos or video, as well as audio will play back. Uh, on the right side here, we've got the, the uh, uh, effects and uh, library panel. This panel has everything from transitions to effects to audio to titles. All that sort of thing is on the top right panel. And on the bottom here, we have the timeline view. Now, if I go up into the, into the three steps of Video Studio, you'll notice there's three tabs in the top. There's Capture, Edit, and Share. If I click on the Capture tab, what that allows you to do is import from a number of different devices. They can be uh, DV cameras, like your 1394 Firewire type cameras, DV, standard definition. You can bring in that through the Firewire. We also support uh, devices that you have installed in your computer, for instance, uh, TV tuner cards or capture boards. We support those. If you want to come from an older camera, like a VHS camera or a, uh, a Hi8 camera, you can do that as well. And we also import from mobile devices, like telephones, uh, uh, PDAs, this sort of thing, that have uh, video support and a USB connection, and also digital media from other devices. A lot of the new cameras nowadays, obviously, have um, uh, file-based uh, formats. So when you shoot on the camera, you have a on the camera st stored in itself is a H.264 or MPEG-2 or a motion JPEG video file. Uh, we allow you to transfer directly from those into Video Studio through your USB or through the uh, memory card slot within your computer. One interesting thing is that a lot of people now are starting to shoot with digital SLR cameras. And these are new people into video that have, were traditionally photographers before, and now they're shooting more and more video on the still cameras. So we're finding a lot of people are new to video and are shooting beautiful video with these new cameras. So those cameras are basically all supported through our digital media import. The next step in video editing is edit. This area here within the edit tab, number two, is a place where you'll be spending most of your time. 90% of your time will be spent in this part of the, the software. This is where you, all, you do all your post-production, you add your effects, your titles, your trimming, all of that is done in this area here. The third area is when you're finished your production, you go to three, number three, share. Now what we allow you to do in the share tab is to create video files, you know, very, very basic. You can render your file into an, uh, a large number of formats, everything from Windows media formats to H.264 high def or a web resolution. So you can do all of that here in the, in, the, in the create video file button. The next one, you can also make a sound file. So a practical area of this is to be able to take a sound file from one of your existing video clips and be able to have that recorded as WAV format or MP3. We also have disk burning capabilities, which allow you to uh, burn not only a DVD with menus, but also a Blu-ray disk with menus. One interesting thing, if you're, if you're delving into high def, as a lot of people are starting to get more and more into high def, they'll want to know how do you output your production in high def without having to spend money on a new Blu-ray uh, Blu burner, uh, Blu-ray media. There is a trick, uh, and I use it quite often myself, is that you can actually go and make a uh, ABC HD HD disk on a regular DVD so you don't have to buy a special burner. What that will do is it will do about 30 minutes of video in high def and burn that to a regular red laser DVD and that DVD then can be put into a Blu-ray player and played back high def to a high def television or into a PlayStation 3 for instance. So it's a very very neat way of going and if you experiment with this you'll find that the the quality especially with slideshows is, 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 is uh, breathtaking. So I'd recommend anybody who's uh, wanting to do uh, uh, high def to a high def television, try just using a regular uh, uh, DVD and, and output ABC HD to it. The next thing we allow you to do is upload to YouTube. Uh, we have a direct upload, so you need obviously a YouTube account. Uh, when you click on upload, it will ask you for your ID and your password, and it will go right to your uh, YouTube page. We also allow you to upload to Vimeo. And Vimeo is a, uh, a new site that has come up in the last uh, 12 months, 18 months, and it's a very popular site in terms of independent artists. So if you feel that you have a mental block or you want to see what other people are doing stylistically in the, in the independent video and film world, 
you should, uh, I'd recommend going to Vimeo. It has some very, very good uh, video production people on there, and you'll get inspired by some of the video they do.